Hey guys, Jason from Faction Marine here. I want to thank you for visiting our website and clicking on the link to check out this 2020 Centurion VI-22. We've got a lot of people that have questions on this boat, so we want to do a nice thorough walkthrough on this and answer some of your questions um, while watching the video and seeing in person what this boat's all about. So you can see here, this uh, VI-22 is really very similar in design um, on the bow to what our RI series is. Um, people ask us often, what's the biggest difference between the FI and the VI? And you can see here the bow is more of your traditional style bow on the VI, where on the FI it's more of a pickle fork style bow. Um, it is slightly lower profile to the water than what the RI series is. Um, gives a little bit different, different ride than what you're going to get out of the RI, with a little bit lower to the water feel, but still plenty of protection and the bow's high enough out of the water still to keep you from getting swamped when you stop to turn around while you're surfing. So nobody likes getting wet when they're surfing, especially if you're sitting in the front of the boat. Um, when we look at this, on the exterior, some features, you can see, of course, this boat has ram fill, Centurion's proprietary ram fill. It fills ballast in about 90 seconds. So what does that mean? It means you get off work, you go to your son's baseball game, your daughter's softball game, and you've got about an hour of light before the sun sets and you want to get out there and surf, that's going to enable you to get out on that water quickly, get out and ride, surf, have a good time, and empty quickly and get in before dark. No more of those, uh, well, let's not go out because it's going to take the ballast so long to fill and so long to empty. It's going to save you time and put you on the water more. I mean, you're making the payments anyways, so think about that when you're, when you're looking at, at boats and thinking about time savings. Um, when we're looking at the back of the boat here, we'll come around our stairs. Um, you can see we've got the QuickSurf Pro on each side from Centurion. Now, remember that the QuickSurf Pro is made to work in concert with the deep V hull that you get from Centurion. What does that mean? Well, that deep V hull is actually the hull's made and designed to make a wave. Unlike some of our competitors out there, who have a, a hull with a bolt on that goes on the side, creates drag. Uh, number one, it tugs on the wheel when it engages every single time you take off from a stop. Uh, number two, it's extremely inefficient. So I know there's been a lot of talk online, a lot of people have said it. Um, extreme, extreme uptick with the OptiV hull and these QuickSurf Pro tabs. It, they're made to work together and designed specifically to work together to make, make it easier for you to get on plane and to run a lower RPM and consume less fuel on the water. Well, the quick launch, how that works is it not only uses the quick surf tabs, it also uses the stinger plate. This, this plate is actually a silent stinger plate where the exhaust flows out of the, the motor through this tube and down into the water. But what that does is all three of the plates will go down when, you, when you're in, in um, the quick launch and that all these plates will go down so it gets you up and on plane faster which what does that also do saves you fuel saves you money um we we really do like this feature on the centurions we put it pretty much on every centurion that just it makes surfing a little more enjoyable for the person in back that you're not getting a big billow of smoke um and it also makes it a little bit quieter one of the things we've heard from a lot of customers is how quiet the centurions are and, and how much they enjoy that um, when we're looking at the back of the boat here, um, we've got some nice storage in the boat back in here. You can throw vests, ropes, sandals, whatever. There's a little drain plug in there as well. So when it gets full of water, you just pull the plug, it drains down into the, into the bilge and pumps out. Before we look at the inside of this boat, let's look at some of the specifications and other questions that customers typically have at this point. You can see that the boat is 22 feet overall. The weight's 5,150 dry. Now that's without fuel, that's without your gear, and that's without people in it. Um, the draft's 36 inches, it seats 12. Standard torque with the 6.0 motor is gonna be 409 foot-pounds of torque. And with the 450, it's gonna be a 600, 465 foot-pounds of torque, sorry. Um, you can see the width here um, is 8.6, pretty standard on the trailer. 10 foot, 10 inches tall with the tower up eight foot one inch with the tower down for those folks who are trying to fit this inside of their garage. Um, another question that gets asked here is weight for a lift capacity. What I 
we sell the most of, and what I recommend on almost all the Centurions and Supremes we sell is the Flow VSD 6,500 pound capacity lift. What's great about that is, is that lift's actually weighted for 8,000 pounds, has a 6,500 pound motor, and you'll never have to buy another lift from any of the boats that we offer here at Faction Marine. Every single boat, even the big 257, will fit on that lift. Now that we're the inside of the boat, let's take a look at some of the creature comfort features um, that the VI-22 from Centurion has. Uh, you can see this boat is equipped with the Maxxis Tower, swivel board racks, it's nice. Um, we've got the stadium seating pops up here, so you can rear facing seating, it's nice to have. This particular boat, to keep the pricing down, we have the snap-in flooring. We do offer the traction kit if you want to do that upgrade, but we try to keep our boats as reasonable as possible here at Faction Marine, and that's one way we can keep costs down. Um, moving over here at the dash, you can see it's got the new Cobra seat. Um, we've got a phone holder here, so this basically you can put your cell phone in here and control your stereo from there. I like to. There's also a, a control unit over here for the stereo, but I like to operate mine off the phone. Um, tilt steering, pretty common. We got the paddle shift here, so your stinger plate can be adjusted on the fly just by the touch of that button. And your cruise control up and down here, or you can also do it off the screen, but I really like to use these, these uh, paddles on the side. Um, you can see now the VI which how it differs from the RI, the VI does have this wider single screen um, versus the dual screens that you get in the RI. Your controls that you go through, the pages are here on the left. So there's basically we can set our surf, you know, left or right, the quick launch is there. Our ballast settings are here. Your nav would be here. It's not because we're inside and then you've got your lighting here. So um, profiles for user settings. Now there's a whole bunch on here that you can add. Um, a lot of dealers are going to get you really excited about this and a lot of dealers that don't really understand surfing, wake surfing like we do at Fax Marine are going to tell you, yeah, you just push surf left, you push surf right, and that's going to do what you need to do. Now, why is that not necessarily the best for everybody? Well, when you have two people in the boat, that probably does work fine. The algorithms that the software has in it um, will work fine for that, but what about when you have a boat full of 12 people? average person let's say weighs 150 pounds you've just changed the dynamics of the load of the boat substantially and you're going to need different saving different settings in order to make that wave perform in the way that you've come to expect now i don't care what brand you buy even other dealers that are selling these boats look at take a look and and really see how much experience that these guys have and the knowledge to be able to teach you how to set these things up on the fly so that you don't become frustrated i mean these are six figure boats that we're looking at here and you want to make sure that the, the, the experience of ownership is not frustrating. We want to make it as simple as possible. And that's a big thing here at Faction Marine is we walk you through the boat. We don't toss you the keys. We actually will go out on the water with you for a half a day, a day if we must, just to make sure you're comfortable with the boat when you buy from us. We, we really pride ourselves on that. And if you look at our five-star rating on our website and Facebook, I think you could take not just our word for it, but take our customer word for it. Um, moving on through the boat, you can see there's, there is room for 12 people in this boat, like we talked about before. Um, the seating, so while it's not as deep as what our RI-237 is, it actually is very comfortable. I still, am, still have plenty of protection here on the side of the boat, so we're not getting splashed and soaked the whole day. Um, some of the other brands like to splash out a lot, and if it's windy, that's coming back and hitting you in the face while you're riding on the boat, which is great when it's 90, but um, when you think about it, and a lot of our customers, they like to go when the ice is getting off the lake, and uh, it, it makes it for a much more enjoyable experience when you're not getting sprayed the whole time. Um, this boat also is equipped with a heater um, that pulls out here. What's really a cool feature about this is, so like when my kids get done and it's kind of cold out or it's late in the evening, I can turn the heater on over there the kids can come in quick, wrap up in a towel, and then this heater, this heater nozzle can go up under the towel and keep them nice and warm while blowing hot air. My kids aren't complaining, so we're staying on the water longer because let's be honest, no one likes to have the kids yelling at them while they're out 
on the boat trying to have a good time. Um, there's also a wind dam that goes in here, so we don't have airflow going through the, the cabin, which helps to make it a more enjoyable experience for on, on the early mornings or the later evenings when it's cooler. There's a ball fill cushion in here, fully removable if you don't like it. We like to add these in the boats. It adds a nice amount of uh, space to sit. You can sit crossways, sit forward. There's also charging USBs up here. So that's nice. The kids can take and hook their devices up if they're sitting up in the front. Some LED lights and some Roswell speakers up here in addition. Um, I, looking at this, I think we've walked through just about everything this VI-22 has. I'm sure I missed something, but if you have more questions, you can reach us at 320-762-2573 or reach us at factionmarine.com. Thanks for watching.